Spirit of grace that is upon us. Amen. We are who we are by your grace. Amen. And we are becoming what you want us to become in Christ by your grace. We thank you, Lord, for gathering us together from our homes to be here tonight. We use this meeting tonight as a point of contact to reach other meetings and to be taken here to our this meeting throughout this month of October. Amen. Thank you for your presence that we perpetually remain here with us. Amen. You will never leave us nor forsake us. Amen. Even tonight, speak with me and through me. Amen. Let every word that you got about day before the foundation of the world just come for us and be a blessing to your people. Amen. Harass and destroy the kingdom of darkness. Amen. Amen. Heal the sick. Amen. Strengthen the weak. Amen. Open the eyes of the blind. Give us supernatural insight to yes. see yes. what you are yes. freely giving yes. to us. Yes. Father, empower your people tonight. Yes. Now one word that is an answer to their prayers. Yes. We receive it yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Father. Yes. You are here already. Yes. You were the first person here before we came. Yes. Yes. Just like this thing hovering over the earth when there was nothing. You spoke a word. Yes. Miracle happened. Amen. Let that miracle continue to happen tonight. Amen. Your spirit was here before we were yes, here. Lord. And we are an embodiment of your spirit. Yes, to bring upon us tonight. Amen. Heal and deliver. Amen. Set us free. Amen. Rearrange our destinies. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. The glory of Jesus shine brighter and The closer I get, the more I see the glory of the second king. The glory of Jesus.
of our God, just for setting it up and the leadership of the church. I'm really excited to be here. Thank you for being around, being there, carrying the legacy of our father, our brother, and our apostle in this nation of South Africa to the ears of the world. Amen. Let me see that. I listened to all the preachers that we had here from the beginning. I listened to them from the beginning to the end and I heard all the teaching. It's like I was with you here. They did a great job. And I thank God for all of them. Because our home, our candle, our mission justice, these are power to practice and monitor men of God. And I thank God for them. I thank God for them. Come just make a joyfulness for them. Hallelujah! I call the services as if I was the one I did was when I heard them, I uploaded the videos and remade it yes. and sent it back. Hallelujah! Praise God. Amen. You know, if you really want to grow in the teaching of the Spirit, you need to be somebody who hunger for the word. Yes. It doesn't just have to be you preaching. You have yeah. ability to listen to somebody else yes, yes, and write some notes, Amen. get something from it, yes. add it to what you have, Amen. and soar from that. Amen. And that is Amen. also how the lineup was powerful. Mm. And they did a great job. Amen. Thank you, man. Somebody shout Amen. 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 Well, I'm thinking, where do I begin from? Mm. I know it's already like people are watching me all over the world. Mm, amen. Mm. The church we have now is more than this four world church. Yes, sir. We already ministry to the global world. Hallelujah. I'm so conscious of it. Mm. There are people are watching me right now in Alabama. Oh, yes. All over the world. In UK, Australia, all over the world. They are watching right now. Hallelujah. Look, this little guy that you have in your head. Mm. He's picking up the message and just sending it to Rumi, hey. to the village. Mm. All of my oh, sisters yeah. are watching, everybody are watching. Mm. They know right now I'm in Bishop Dave Okoje's church. Mm. Right. In Cape Town. Yeah. You know that? Yes, sir. You've seen the advert. Mm. We're going to start somewhere. Yes. Yes. And the one was dealing with me about one characteristics of them. They say, you see, I shall prefer you can talk about it. Mm. This is ability to love the unlovable. Yeah. Hallelujah! It's a man giving to love. Oh, yes, that's I'm true. Not the pastors in Cape Town don't see anybody who can love them. Ah. Yes. Mm. That's true. Mm. Even in Johannesburg. Mm. He's literally a father to the fatherless. Mm. That's true. A friend to those who have nobody around them. Mm. Yes, sir. And it's free to respond to the needs of people. Well, well. That is the area. I want us to look at his love life. Okay? Because a legacy, a memory of somebody is what you live by mm. all the days of your life. Okay? Mm. We are going to see why this legacy about him is going to continue in our lives. Mm. Okay, yes, sir. so I tried to my teaching tonight, but I'm going to be moving as the Spirit of God leads me. We are Bishop Dave's a gorgeous legacy. Yes, sir. Okay, somebody say legacy. legacy. And for you to be the legacy of somebody, there must be something about that person that wrote on you. Ah, yes, sir. That you keep remembering all your life when you remember the person. That's all. It's like being in a class, and it was the teacher, and it's no longer there. And others are coming to preach and teach in this pulpit, but they never like him. They are never like him. They might have some similarities here and there, but they can never be him. We can be a friend of him, but we can never be him. So that legacy, that he left in us makes us to become unique and special. 
added to what God is calling us to do. That's true. So we are going to become his everlasting legacy. Amen. Okay? Mm. It's the truth. And to exemplify my teaching tonight, I'm borrowing his apostolic nature with the one of Paul. Amen. Okay? Because he's an apostle. That is why anywhere he goes, there's an aura that goes with him. He doesn't need to introduce himself. Yeah. I don't know. He doesn't need to introduce himself. Yeah. When the moment he shows up, people say, Who is that man? He's yeah. unique. Who is that man? Mm. Everyone just want to know him. Mm. I don't know about you. You still remember him? Yes. Everyone yes. just want to know him. Amen. Amen. Even when he's quiet, yes. mm. he's peculiar when he's dressing. He, he, no. He's so meticulous about his dressing. No. Amen. Hey. Hallelujah. <laughs> But what I love about him, what I love about him is his person and that aura. Mm -hmm. when, when I look at Papa in the house, I see that kind of aura on him. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, it's not always good to talk about people when they are not there. Yes, but yes. we have to. Yes. Because he has left a footprint. Oh, yeah. As a prophet. Amen. Now some of us, need to put our foot on that footprint mm. and walk where he walks. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Because he was a living example of people who were really touched by the Lord of God. Somebody shout amen. amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. The eagles are coming. Yes. Make a joyful noise to the Lord. Amen. It's a unique personality. Yes, 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 yes. But I'm glad that whatever he has gone ahead of us, we'll see him one day. Mm. Yeah, we're going to be there. Everybody here will get there. Yes, yes. Isn't it? Nobody lives on that here forever. Amen. 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 It was just a year now. Mm -hmm. Mama, this year, just a year, the same month, Thank has gone to be with a lot of fruit. Yes. Mm. And uh, October, and it, it will wonder you who will be the next one. And don't be afraid. Mm -hmm. What you have gone through is the best. Amen. But my prayer for you is that you will live to fulfill Amen. your prophetic Amen. 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 You will reach your goals in life. Amen. You will be a blessing. You will, bless. you will fulfill your destiny. Amen. God will use you like He have never used any man or woman yeah. before. Amen. That is my prayer. Amen. That you're going to be a unique brand of person Amen. that He uses globally. Amen. So we're going to be borrowing scriptures from Apostle Paul because when I look at him, I see him, a great apostolic bishop. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you, you can see that exemplified in his love life. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I want us to look at the love of God that you see on Dave, full of love. Mm -hmm. Amen. Even when you have stabbed himself right and we still love him. Yes. Amen. Even no matter what you say about him. You will still love you. Okay? Okay. That is the area I want us to look at. Okay? Anybody touched by God must have that love. Amen. Okay? Amen. Amen. The love of God is shed abroad in our heart by the Spirit. But you can, see this, you can really see this love of God is simplified in His life. He can give you everything that He has just to make you feel happy. True. Why he's broke? True. That, True. that is True. love. Amen. Love always gives. Mm. He was a great giver. Mm. I have encountered pastors all over mm. who told me about that aspect. Okay? Mm. So that is what the Lord is dealing with me to okay. deal with. He's not here, but his presence is here. Amen. Uh, I can they say something. I don't know what else I can do. He says he's among the cloud of witnesses. Hallelujah. Who said that? Mm. Uh, Dr. Akandu. I should tell you, I listened to all the ministers. He says he's among all the cloud mm. of witnesses. And they are watching us right now. I don't know about that. One, one of the, the mama was feeling so down. He said, why did he have to leave me here as a mama? He's watching. You say, are you really sure he's watching me? Not feeling the way I'm feeling after the end? Is he telling him to come? <laughs> <laughs> no. 
And I told her, he has finished his assignment. Amen. And if you, you're not watching about God's assignment, when you finish God's assignment, look at Jesus. He lived 23 and a yes. half years. Yes. Since he was born, sir. Huh? Uh -huh. Since he was born. Mm -hmm. We only heard about when he went to the temple. Yeah. Start with the, you know, mm -hmm. intelligent people asking, script, asking questions. Uh -huh. And eventually, we didn't hear about him again. Till he showed up again uh -huh. to be baptized. Uh -huh. John had a revelation that the man that he baptized that sees the dove coming upon must be the one that baptized with the Holy Ghost and with fire. I mean, so when he went to John's ministry, submitted to John's ministry, he died there, the heavens were open for him. And John said, he will increase, I will decrease. Follow me. Follow me. He will increase. And we don't want to. He of his shoes are not even able to, to, to tie. To tie. Mm. And John understood by the second back. Even when John was later arrested in prison, John didn't understand. He taught Jesus coming with certainty. He never knew that God cannot be introduced in two generals at the same time. Ah. He never knew God cannot be introduced in two generals at the same time. Amen. One must have seen to what the other one got to. Hallelujah! That's true. Because if Jesus is here to baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire, and John is only just baptizing with water, which one do you need? <laughs> and you never really hear in John's ministry there was no science and wonder ministry there. But it's somebody who was not afraid of authority. Yes. It was like Papa in the house. Yes. He would rebuke soldiers, rebuke everybody. Mm -hmm. Call them serpents, brown, vipers. Yes. But still, they were going to meet him where? Well in the wilderness. That's what the anointing does. The anointing will compel people to meet you where you are. Wow. Amen. 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 To compel people to meet you where you are. They were going to meet John in the wilderness to be baptized of him. And as they got it, John will start rebuking every one of them, but they will stay put. And they will be back. when Jesus came, the Spirit of God told him, That is the one I told you that you baptized with the Holy Ghost and with what? Fire. Fire speaks of the seal that eats you up when you surrender to Jesus. You, you ask yourself, what makes people do more than others? Uh -huh. Is the zeal. Amen. The fire. Amen. fire. Yeah. If the fire is not there, you can't go more. Yeah. If the fire that makes you go to church before others can get there. Amen. Amen. Get so early you want to be in church. Yes. Not just because of something that you just want to do in the early. You want to encourage somebody else because of the fire. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we are going to be, when we look at the life of Bishop Dave, of blessed memory, almost a year now, we are going to be looking at what Apostle Paul said. That is, what is, that is how you can leave the legacy. His legacy of nature. Somebody shout amen. Amen. Just somebody said, I have a unique call of God on my life. I have a unique call of God on my life. And most time God sent men ahead of you to teach you his ways. Yes, mm. yes. And he wants you to emulate the good part of them. Amen. Mm. Yes. What do I say? He wants you to do what? Yes. Emulate yes. the good part of them. All of us leaders who make mistakes here and there. Yes, sir. Apart from Jesus. Uh, who is the author and finisher of oh, our oh, faith. Amen. Okay, now we are going to be looking at my case study here, First Corinthians 11 verse 1. That's my first scripture. First Corinthians chapter 11 verse 1. Are you there? If you are there, shall be amen. Amen. It says, be ye followers of me. Come on, read it for me. Be ye followers of me, even as I also of Christ. Paul was apprehended on his way to kill Christians. Everybody got to have an encounter with the Lord. 
everybody they have to follow Jesus have to have what divine encounter that day you gave your life to Jesus you remember that day yes, yes. I will yes. never forget mine yes. mm -hmm. God said that the event of committing suicide mm -hmm. okay I will never forget mine in a place called Urumi <laughs> it's a little bit of food that room <laughs> June 23rd 1989 I will never forget that day as long as no. 1986 I will never forget that day as long as I live. Okay. Just imagine Apostle Paul getting ready to go and arrest those men he taught we are preaching nonsense. And he wanted to defend the Judaism. Okay? And he, he got letters from the high priest to arrest these men, to stop them, not to go forward. <coughs> And God knew he was doing it how? Ignorantly. Yes. Mm. Yes. yes. God knew he was doing yeah. it. But God loved the zeal they saw about Paul. Yes. yes. And God decided to encounter. He said, if I get this guy saved, he will do better than Peter. Mm. Mm. Yes. Peter is not ready to take the gospel to the Gentile world. Uh, if this guy comes in, I'll be able to reach another part of the world. Yes. So he needs to come in. Mm. The apostle is not complete, not on this guy comes in. Mm. Tell somebody that is a, a room for every one of us. Yes. In the kingdom, there is a room for you to stand up in there. There are people you can reach and can never reach. Yes. 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 There are some support group you can reach and can never reach. Yes. Yes. But he can go to places you go. Mm. Yes. TV just will not be able to go to places you go. Mm. Come on, talk to me. Yes. He said, I need to bring this man because I'm losing the, the whole world if I don't. This guy is so selfish with these Jewish people. Let me bring somebody else who will reach the uttermost part of the world for me. And God knew Paul would be the right person. Mm. It was that God showed Peter a vision to eat or clean meat. Yes, yes. He refused. He said, No, I can't. God said, keep quiet. The men are bringing yeah. unclean yeah. people. Yeah. But I'll send them. And as he was busy preaching to them, he didn't tell them about the Holy Ghost. But God overtook him. And God had got baptized with the Holy Ghost. And he started making to He said, ah, this man also received the Holy Ghost. The way we received it, what is this? He said, that is the wonders of God. Yes. Mm. Yeah. But this man, Peter, was not ready to go there. Because they are all clean people. They are not qualified for the kingdom. Hallelujah. God qualifies your God. Hallelujah. Oh, somebody shout Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Most times the people we look down on are the people God use greatly. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. They can reach anyone. They will spend this money. Mm. Yes. As we are busy talking about the aspect of Islam, my wife said, I don't know how the wife must have been feeling uh -huh. when you just came in the way of it. We discussed about that later. Mm -hmm. He was just a giver. Mm -hmm. You cry about rentage. Uh -huh. They will say, send me your account. Mm -hmm. I won't do that. As I'm already calculating, they want to come and what to do with it. I'll tell you where is your pastor. <laughs> you see how people are driven differently? Yes. And there is room for everyone. Can you slap somebody again and say there is room for you? There is room for you. Amen. Thank you. You are not doing it very well. Say, slap somebody and say, There is room for you. There is room for you. Now, you are not doing it very well. Say, slap somebody and say, There is room for you. There is room for you. Now, you say, Apostle Paul said, Be ye followers of me, even as I am of Christ. Which means, only follow me when you see me following Christ. I mean, it's amazing. It's amazing. Only follow me as you see me follow me Christ. So when I stop following Christ, don't follow me anymore. Mm. 
That is when we miss it as a sheep. Even when the men are missing it, yes. men of God are missing it, they ask you to eat grass, you give it grass. No! Eat snake, you eat snake. Mm. Let, let's just look at it. Be ye followers of me, even I also I am of Christ. So as long as I'm following Christ, follow me. Don't follow somebody who's not following anyone. Oh God. Amen. Amen. Don't follow anybody who's not following anyone. Yes, sir. If I'm to marry a man, I ask him, who is your pastor? Take me to your pastor. I would like to know him. Uh -huh. who, who are you following? Yes, sir. Please let that settle. That is settled well. Yeah. That is settled well. Who are you following? Follow the man as much as he's following Christ. See, we can read about Christ. Yes. And when people follow outside Christ, you will know it. Yeah. Because by your spirit, you can tell when somebody's missing. Yes. 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 Remember. You are also a child of God. Yes, yes, so you still sir. have the spirit yes, of God that is in the man of God. Yes, you can yes, tell when he misses it. Yes. And when he's missing, go pray for him. Yes. Don't join him or her. Yes. Just go pray for him. Yes. Pray to your God helps him. Yes. And keep loving him. Yes. Don't hate. Yes. Because we don't have hatred to give. Mm -hmm. Come on, talk to me. We don't have a hate to give. We don't have a hate We don't have a hate We only have the love of God shared abroad in our heart by the Spirit. I'm talking to new creation tonight. So we have the love of God shared abroad in our heart by the Spirit. Someone say, I have the love of God. Romans chapter 5, verse 5. I have the love of God in me. That's why you're not permitted to hate anybody. Absolutely. Only the devil. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 I hope make it not a shame because the love of God is shed abroad. Well, in our heart, by who? By the Holy Spirit that is given. That happened when you gave your life to Jesus. The love of God is shed abroad in your heart. So you have the love of God to give. Not the, the Bible said, overcome every evil with, with good. Overcome every evil with the good things to do. Don't do good because somebody is trying to do you. No, you are the light of the world. You are a city set on a hill. And you can never be hidden. Never. You are unique and special. You are just different from others. You belong to the tribe of Abraham. You will prosper everywhere you go. Amen. 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 You will prosper. Amen. It's part of your DNA. Amen. It's part of your DNA. You will prosper everywhere you go. Amen. This may look tough a little while, ah. but things will turn around for your good. Amen. You Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. You are the seed of Abraham. That because we are the sin of Abraham, when we belong to God, and we don't go through some tough time, you will. But in the midst of it, God will be glorified. Hallelujah. In whatever you go through, mm. He will make sure you have upper hand. He will cause you to triumph. Amen. Even when you are going through, He will give you victories upon victory. Amen. That's what the Bible says. He that is born of God overcomes the world. Say, this is the victory that overcomes the world. Evil. Amen. Our faith. 
Apostle Paul said, follow me as I follow you. So when I stop following Christ, stop following you. Pray for me because we belong to one body. Something must have happened to me. Yes. That's yes. why you pray for your spiritual leaders. Yes. Don't kill them. Uh -huh. Don't crucify them. Mm. Amen. Hey. We are still living in this physical body. Yes. Mm. We do make mistakes. Yeah. Although we have been perfected. Mm. Amen. What do I say? We do make mistakes, although we have been perfected. Mm. Understand that English? Yeah. We do make mistakes, although we have been perfected. Mm. At times we miss it. And that's we hear another voice. Yeah. And we think this must be God. Mm. And eventually it's not. Mm. So the best thing you can do for me is to pray for me. Mm. When you see me having a detour mm. in my journey of faith. Mm. Mm. Detour simply means I was driving straight, something happened and I turned the car. Mm. And I enter bush. Mm. Pray for me. Mm. Pray for me. Pray for me. Don't follow me and die too. Don't follow me and detour. Yes, sir. And then pray for me. Stop where you are. Say, Lord, Calibra in the link. Your prayer might just turn me cosmic. I back and come out of the detour. Hallelujah. How many of you will do that? Okay. I just told you one of the life of Dave I want to exemplify his love. No. I mean, the Bible says, God so loved the world. He gave his only begotten son. Today we are enjoying salvation because God gave. That one gift, man, that he gave years back, he's still reaping the whole world yes, today. Sir. Yeah, it's one giving you can give that can make you a multi millionaire forever. Yes. That's true. It's the truth. That's true. There's a story told of uh, David, Ojedebo and Papa in the house. He said, one of these days, David brought some seed okay, to his father in the Lord. And when he prophesied on David, today we can see what is happening with us. Amen. Mm. Amen. When you make your father call you to come to his hotel room, say, go take shower where I took shower. Mm -hmm. Go bed there, use my everything, and come out. Say, nigga, today, money lose value. There are some giving you give that you'll never know tears anymore. Yeah. 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 If God is not going to force you to do that, yeah. hmm. it's got to be by revelation. Amen. Somebody say revelation. Revelation. Give him by revelation. Yeah. Yeah. Give us a man who was given yes. by revelation. Hmm. Yes, yes, sir. And God also raised people who were given to him. Wow. Somebody just give God praise. What we see here now, because the God is telling us that he truly followed the Lord. Make up your heart to follow the Lord. Yes. You know what I love about this man, Apostle Paul, he said, he arrested me and I'm following him. Don't know why I'm apprehended. He said, he apprehended me. And I'm following to no more. It's amazing. That if we keep diving from scripture to scripture, we won't live here today. Yeah. But it's a man that when God touched him, he said, no, I must follow this God that touched me. To know why he's touching me. And he started following you. Mm. And as you follow the Lord, you keep changing. Yes, I throw. I throw. I throw. Mm. Yes, when you follow, you keep changing. Mm. He told me that if you follow me, I will make you. Mm. So when you follow him, you keep making you to become who you are called to be. Yes. Hey. Thank you, that is why such a man, even when he was arrested, in prison, he read more letters. Mm. He was not discouraged. Mm. Prison was not a resting place for him. Because he's always busy. So the only way God could get his attention to the book yeah. is to put it in prison. <laughs> and he wrote all the epistles. The best book ever. He wrote them man, in prison. 
Because if it's not seated right, he will be preaching. Yes. Ah, yes, mm. yes, yes, yes. Mm. So God have to have a way of making him write the books. Mm. As an educated person, all like Peter. Mm. Amen. Mm. Hey. Wonderful God. But I love his heart, following after the Lord. Yes. Mm. May you follow after God. Amen. Amen. All the days of your life. Amen. Amen. You know, when your family members see you following the Lord, yeah. no matter what has happened to you because they are watching you, yes. mm. that is when the gospel is preached to them. Amen. Mm. Amen. When you just keep talking Nothing nonsense. Talking. Nothing. They watch you. Mm. What you do in time of trial? Amen. What you do in time when there is no money? Because yeah. there are times when there is no money. Yes. Mm. Yes. You will say, God shall supply, and there is no supply. Yes. Yes. Mm. There are times like that. Yes, sir. You say, Lord, remember me. You say this. You quote it. Nothing will happen. Amen. Mm-hmm. At that time, your patient is being tested. Amen. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Hey. yes. You might even quote scripture and say, I was young now, I'm old, I've never seen the righteous forsaken. But you are forsaken. Mm-hmm. Yes. There's just nothing to show for you. Mm-hmm. But God is still there. Mm-hmm. Okay. He's still there. He's still there. You see, most of these things we teach him now, he went through them. Mm. In times when there's no money in the pocket, mm. everything they had then will be faith. Yes. They will faith it. Yeah. Before you know it, there'll be a cloud like a man's hand showing up somewhere. <laughs> and because of that little cloud, he'll be rejoicing. Yes. I can go more. If God can do this more, he will do more. Amen. That is that kind of man. People like you, when they go to a place where they preach to thousands of people, they are not moved. Because they have seen that in their spirit years back. Mm. It's love life. And for you to do a lot of great things for the Lord, you need that love life must be there. That love life must be there. You must be ready to love God with all your heart. Let Him know that you love Him. Yes, sir. Not by what you do now. It's good to do things, but let Him know that you love Him, that you love Him, that you love Him. And when He asks you to jump, you will jump. That's your love. Love life. Will you be able to leave your home one day and tell your wife, the Lord is telling me to go and do this. They say, you are not doing it. It's either you turn out. But that's why I don't need to be praying to have a God-given wife. Yeah. That's when you have a god we Not all the time. I tell you, they won't understand you. How can you take the only money in the house, give it to somebody else to pay his house? Oh, yeah. I have not paid the house for the day. <laughs> Let's go bless you with another man. Keep in this one. You're still fighting in the house. Uh, this one I'll keep on. Let God bless you with another money before we stay still. Yeah. He said, Madam, please. Please, yeah. God who brought this can bring another one. Yeah. He's telling me to give this to Janet. And if you're a good woman, who knows? You God will. speaks to your husband. Okay, yes. It's okay, do it. If we both yeah. die, we die together. <laughs> Finish. Love God with all your you know that's a scripture that says when you love God with all your heart, then you love your neighbor. As you what? Okay, this is how I put it. Love God number one. Number two, love yourself. Amen. Because you cannot give what you don't have. That's true. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. If you love yourself, you want to make sure that you adorn yourself, that you, that you eat the word of God, the hand, right? that you know what God is telling you to do, that you do exactly what He has you to do. You are not just playing church. You are not just a Sunday Christian. No. You are a Christian even in, at home. You are ready to follow God anywhere you find yourself. Anywhere you find yourself. You are ready to obey God in the Spirit. Amen. Amen. And 
that is why a lot of believers are failing it. Yeah. Some of us want to see the things first before we love God. Mm. It's a big error. Big error. Now, can I shock you? Before God ever created a man, you already planned the whole world and chose you in Christ Jesus. So you were chosen in Christ before the foundation of the world. That is the type of God we are dealing with. The God who chose you already in Christ before the foundation of the world. <coughs> before he created Adam and Eve, you already chose him. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Wonderful God. That is why when I go through what I go through some tough time matters, I say, Lord, if I'm not meant to have it, let me let it not be. Mm. I've prayed all man of prayer, I've done the confession. I say, if I'm meant to have it, if I'm not meant to have it, let it not be. Okay. And if it, that is your way for me, mm -hmm. I know it's your way for me, let it happen. And I don't know how it will happen, but I'm going to wait on you. Amen. But I'm not going to cause him. I'm not going to detour. I'm not going to withdraw. I'm yeah. going to persevere and keep serving him. Yeah. Mm. I'm going yeah. to keep giving God the best praise ever. Yes. Amen. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I'm going to go to church yes. more. Yes. I'm going to do what I'm supposed to be doing in the church. Yes. I can't keep giving excuses to cover for my eyes. Uh -huh. mm. Amen. Let the love of God constrain you. Amen. 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 The love of God to be the constraining factor. Amen. And if God is going to be blessing you tomorrow because of his love. One day he told uh, Abraham, Abraham, he said, Now I know you love me. Yes. Ah. Hey. Now I know. Yeah. And, and it's true of him saying, Bless him. I'll bless him. He multiply. I'll multiply you as there. I like when they talk about the sun by the seashore um, and the stars in heaven. Um, Not only that, you told him your enemy, you put your, your let me be on the head of your enemy. Yeah. Yeah. We are sitting with Jesus where? In heaven. Yeah. Yeah. Where is the devil? He said, I'm giving yeah. you power to try to stop it. Over all the power of the enemy. He said, Nothing shall my enemies hurt you. Somebody shout, Amen. Yeah. 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 Sealed. Yeah. become a devil destroyer. Yeah. 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 become a devil destroyer. Yeah. 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 God will use all that you have to humiliate the devil yeah. Yeah. when you know how to love him. When you know how to love him. When you know how to love them. Let me show you another scripture. There are so many. I want to stay in this dimension because I don't want to lose you. First Corinthians chapter 4, verse 16. First Corinthians chapter 4, verse 16. If you are there, make a joyful noise. Amen. Amen. It's a wherefore, I beseech you. Be ye followers of okay. me. Because Paul is still telling the Corinthians, eh? follow me. Because I know who I'm following. You can't be sick when you follow a genuine man of God. Amen. 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 I already told you, when somebody is deep on you, will know it. Mm. Because you have the same spirit. Mm. You're a married woman. If your husband is missing it, you will know it. Yeah. Don't follow your husband and keep me Go pray. Amen. Because you are not permitted to preach to him. The best thing you can do is to pray. Amen. Because he might just start talking and he's slapping because he's not saying what you are saying. Yeah. You ask yourself, you call yourself a Christian, you are slapping. Uh -huh. And it's not because you are, <laughs> you are crossing somewhere. Yeah. You have seen pastors who slap their wives. Hey. Yes, in the truth. Yeah. Because when you're not supposed to be talking, you are talking. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. It's true, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Understand. Die. Yeah. Uh, Just because you belong to the same kingdom, have the same spirit, does not mean you have to be preaching to him at all times. Look uh, at you, you are going to hell. Woo. It's okay, let me start with you first. It's hell. Yeah. 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 That's why it's not They are allowing me to talk. Thank God they are allowing me to talk. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah! Hey! Yeah, 
I said I know for love, okay? Yeah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. The love of God does what constrains us. We have it. Yeah. Remember, God is love. Yes, sir. Say mean God is love. God, God is, is love. love. That is why if you read the book of 1 Corinthians chapter, is it 13, eh? from the beginning yes, to the yes, end, love. it talks about the love. Oh, God. They said, if you have faith, you can move mountains. Yes, sir. Yeah. But remember, you can move mountains, yes. But if it's going to be things that is going to have a lasting effect, it must be done by love. Yes. The motive for what you do must be what? Love. 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 That is how you read First Corinthians chapter 13, verse 13. What is forbidden there? First Corinthians 13, 13. I love this. Hmm. No, first Corinthians 13, 13. Are you there? Yes. Read it for me. No, I said 13, 13. Now, and now I buy faith, hope, that what charity there means law. It's a mystery. Now, now, look at the end of it. He said, but the greatest of these is love. Is love. Yes, love. So the motive why you do what you do must be true love. Yes. For anything to have an eternal value. Yes. For anything to have an eternal value. Yes. The motive must be love. 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 Why? Because God is love, love. himself. Yeah. Hey, if you are just doing something to be known by people, you are uh, one you already lost it. Yes, 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 yes. So that is why I really want to talk about this aspect of the apostle of Amen. this commission, Amen. my brother. Okay, Amen. our father. You can see the love of God. Mm. I mean, come a lot of us to tell me what he did for them. Yes. Sir. Again and again. All mm. over, scattered all over South Africa. Mm. And I knew he was able to do that because of no. what? Come on, talk no, no. 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 Nothing else. No. Not because of what he's going to be getting. No. 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 Let me talk about it. No. 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 Not because he want people to be mentioning his name everywhere he goes. No, 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 no. Yes. No. The Lord. I was given some medicine. You know, when we carry microphone, we don't have time for us. Have you discovered something? Yes, sir. Because of this online recording, I, I, my wife said, you spent two hours, three hours. Yes, I said, you only not time. <laughs> but thank God for online. Yes. And there are still people ready to hear you. Mm -hmm. Because they don't see you every day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, one of the things you're going to be going home with you today is the love of God. It's going to be exemplified in your life. Amen. Yes. You're going to be rich in that stuff. Amen. Going to be rich. He's going to compare you to go to church, Harry. Mm. But you're not going to be a wheelbarrow that people keep pushing. No. How long will you be in that dimension? You're going to be the first person to do what God has us to do. Mm. Amen. That's how we become an example to others. Amen. Hey. I, I'm the leader in South Africa. I don't just I, I just want to do what I know to do best. Yes. Mm. I'm not competing with any man. Yes. Mm. Because when God sent me, man, give me a love Yes. Hey. Give me a love So I'm going to be doing things big. Yes. 
Jesus. From the revelation I have of you. Yeah, you can help me, you know, I your sharpens my own to do what I'm called to do. Yes. I can pick from you and learn from you. Most of the lessons I preach, man, is revelation. Things I pick from others that bless me. But the moment I read it, it becomes mine. That message becomes my message. Yes, yes, yes. Am I sitting here preaching? And I received us an insight. Uh, the minute I get it, it's no longer yours, it's mine. <laughs> because it takes revelation to receive. Yes, yes. Because deep, call it unto deep. Yes. And the minute I get it, I say, yes. I, 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 I own it. I own it. The moment you own it, it is a blessing. Yes. Because your eyes is open to something that you are not open before. Yes. Yes. It's like healing. You see people, the moment they have headache, they run to the chemist. Yeah. The moment they have this uh, stomach pain, they run to the chemist. But the day you hear a man teaching about healing, and he said the word of God becomes medicine to their flesh, yeah. and it enters you. You know you don't need to clean it like you used to. No, I don't. Mm. I heard uh, Papa David Oyebo say he was reading the Kupas uh, Wise book on prosperity. He said something entered him and said that they said I will never be poor again in my life. You can see what that little book has done in the life mm. of Papa Yeribo. Because she received, he received an insight from Kenneth Copeland's book on prosperity. Yes. Not even from Kenneth, uh, Kenneth Copeland, but Gloria Copeland. Yeah, from the world. Right. From the world. Okay. So don't despise people. Mm -hmm. I miss. Wow. Ah. You see, I'm different. Just to preach, he was preaching like a white man from America. <laughs> you know, just you know, talks like the Americans. And that is, that is who he has ever been since I know him. Okay? Even when he has not traveled to America. <laughs> <laughs> Glory be to Jesus. I know you have for hearing me. Like you will love me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> that, that is who he is. And when I can do what's preaching, I say, wow. He said, he spent how many weeks to get the message? Mm, okay. That God just delivered him the message. I said, wow. And I also watch us at home. And I watched all of them. I mean, I played them more than twice. Ah. Because I'm asking myself, what am I going to be preaching here for? The Lord told me, don't worry about it, but you just receive something. When you get there, I will tell you what to do. Yeah. <laughs> we are receiving it. Yes. Is somebody getting blessed? Yes, sir. Bless somebody for me tonight. Professor, somebody say, you are going far than your equals. You are going far than your equals. Yes, somebody say, I'm going to die prematurely. No, I'm not dying prematurely. You will not die prematurely. Thank you, Lord. You will reach your goals in life. Amen. Tell somebody, look at your name, tell somebody that. You will reach your goals. Tell somebody, yes, you will reach your goals in life. You will reach your goals in life. So blessed. Mm. Somebody shout praise the Lord. Second Corinthians five fourteen. I'm almost getting to a place where I'll be visiting tonight. Because I know we are coming tomorrow morning here yeah, tomorrow evening. What did he say? I want to make sure you are there. What did he say? For the love of Christ constraining us, because we thus judge that as one died at all, then we are all dead. You see that? So what controls us? The love of God. Yeah. Remember, I got to be your motive for doing what you do. Yes, yes. I'm doing it because of the love of God in me. 
and I'm doing it because it's not a controlling factor. It's what is pulling you in the direction that God wants you to go. Okay? Constraints. I like the way it says con, con, constraint effects. Some translation we said he compels us. Compelling factor. Can you give me another translation of that? And it maybe amplify whatever. You see, it compares us. What did he say? He said compels. He said compares us. Give me another translation. He said, since we have reached this conclusion. Okay, another translation again. Let's just play around with us. He said compares, constrain. Some translation say controls us. Okay? But you can see. The love of God is what compels you to do what God is calling you to do. Mm -hmm. If you really want to serve in serve mm -hmm. Because you'll be rewarded for it. That's true. Hebrew 11 verse 6 talks about reward. It's a rewarder of death that not yet live. Seafood. You can say love it. Get into love it. God reward everybody. Mm. God rewards everybody that truly serve it. Everybody. So God can be calling you to do something that's with the church, do this, do this. Do it faithfully. Do it without supervision. Do it as if you are working for the master. He will reward you. Amen. Amen. Since I came here, there are people I reached out to make sure that they are standing if they was alive. Because I think we call people. So I'll be calling some of the daughters and people in this house. Sending them messages. Start that message. Not just for them to drive down to Johannesburg, no. But for them to be faithful right here in the house. Because if they are addicted to the word of God, they will be addicted to God. Mm. Yeah, true, sir. Mm. So sad. <coughs> I've called some personally. Yeah. I say, hello, how are you doing? <laughs> Were you in church? No. What happened? I say, those excuses stop it. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. We're two or three again together. Jesus said, I'm there. Yes, there are yes. certain things that we live and break when you're in the garden of God's people. That's yes. oh, yes. the truth. Yes. Like this, you don't need to pray for. Just, yeah, just get there. If certain miracle you are just in God for me, have yeah. When you walk out of the church, there's three helpers will locate you. Amen. Yeah. Because yeah. you will be there. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Mm. That anointing rub on you mm. because you are there. Hey. Oh. Psalm 33, from verse 1 to the end. There is grace in every ministry. Oh. Amen. And when you go there because you know God called you there. Hey. Certain things happen because you are here. Hey. You walk out of here, the miracle will be happening. Mm. Yeah. He said, there God command blessing. Yes. And life forever. Mm. Hey. God so loved the world. Mm. Yeah, yeah, God yeah. God yeah. Hey. That was never been in here like will mm. not perish mm. or have everlasting life. Mm. God love even the unlovable. Mm. Mm. Yes, sir. When they wanted to crucify that woman for committing adultery, <laughs> they never knew that Jesus was the lamb that was slain before the foundation of the world. So Jesus was not there to kill her because he was coming to die for her. Mm. Hey, hey. But there's just no way he will allow them to kill the woman. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Hey. Amen. Are you following me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And moreover, man, to commit adultery on two people. Mm. I don't know why they say go handle it. I don't know. The law is something. The law is hey, very I tell you, sir. It's very wicked. The law is wicked. Hey, hey. There's no grace in the law. Hey. Never. Yes, sir. Uh-uh. Yeah, yeah. True. Even though you are the culprit, uh -huh. grace, law will kill you. But grace will say no. Amen. Mm. Not this way. No. Ah, yeah, not yeah, yeah, this yeah. way. Yeah. Mm. That is why I came. Not this way. Mm. Ah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, woman, I have not condemned you. Must go and sin no more. more. He just wrote on the floor. Yeah. He told the man, if you know you have no sins, be the first no. Stop. First no. Hey. And the other side thinking. All have sinned oh, and fall short of the glory of God. Nobody is exempted from sin. Mm -hmm. Even when you are a 
anointed man of God, you break this thing from time to time. Oh, yes. Do God kiss us because of that? No. No. Grace speaks. Mm. It's not a license to sin. Uh, mm. uh, mm. mm. Law came through Moses, but grace and truth came through, came through Jesus. Jesus. He said, Go and say no more. No. He says, There is nobody accusing you. I've not accused you myself. Mm. But go and say no, no more. And that simply means she was empowered to live without sin. Amen. That's what ah, grace does. Okay. Grace is an empowerment to live Amen. the life of Christ. Amen. And there are some of you here tonight. The grace of God is going to so rough on you. Amen. You are going, to, be, you are going to see more exploit in the area of God is coming. Amen. You've never seen it before. Amen. Amen. What others will do I and mean, they will fail, you will do it to succeed. Amen. 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 It's only remaining how many months before this year's roundup. Mm. We are going to see the glory of God like that. Amen. 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 Hello, hello. If it's not going to come from the work of your hand, it is coming anyway. Hallelujah. Because this is yes, what God is going to do for hey. himself. Hey. It might be a one time yes. thing that you can't get from your business that people are going to just send to you. Amen. 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 Buy something from you mm. that you have never sold in five years' time mm. before. Hallelujah. Mm. And they'll give you the money for the things before you even start. Hallelujah. Have you had testimonies like that before? Mm. Mm. Eh? Somebody yes. giving you money for the contract they are giving you uh, to finish yeah. before you start. Amen. 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 I'm going to run now. My wife said, when well, you say you're going to run, you better run up. <laughs> hey. I must. Hmm. Ephesians 5, verse 1 to 2. Hmm. Glory, we worship you. Amen. Mm -hmm. 